Movie Laughs, the comedy podcast for people who sort of attention fans who don't know how to... Uh... Uh, come in. Are you Lord Stitchington? Yes. Package for you, sign here. Thank you. I don't think it was necessary for you to open that door, though. Why not? We are underground. Why are you carrying that door with you? It's not attached to anything. Well, I always carry it with me so I can knock on it in case I have anything to deliver. I see. Well, here's your package. Thank you. Ow, my nose. Sorry. That's better. Now, let me see what this is. What is it, I can't see? It's a window. Why on earth would someone send me a window down here? That doesn't make any... Oh, that's why. Another ransom note. Mr. Robber, you read it this time. I'm tired of them. Let's see. It says, we are renewing our demand that you place four million dollars in every hollow tree in the world if you want to see Annette again. And even if you don't want to see her again, do it anyway because I'm getting sick of waiting, so just get on with it. P.S. We also have Mary O'Brien, but we will not ask for ransom for her. You see, we are offering you a discount, two kidnappings for the price of one. Well, I can't worry about the ransom now. We've got to get to Pittsburgh first and find Freddy the Ferret. Yeah, but how do we know how much further it is to Pittsburgh? I might be able to help you there. Poor old Nicholas, have you been following us? No, you went around in a circle. You're back where you started. What? You mean to tell me we're supposed to be going forward all this time and we've been going backward? Stitching to you, stupid, bumbling fathead. Mr. Robber, please remember you are speaking to an English lord. Stitching to you, stupid, bumbling fathead, my lord. That's better. Calm down, boys. I'll tell you what you do. I can give you a map to Pittsburgh. And I suppose you're going to charge us some absurdly expensive price for it? Well, seeing as how you're in a hurry, this one's on the house. Just follow this map and you'll find Freddy. All you gotta do is, as long as you're already going backwards, just keep going backwards, and you'll reach Pittsburgh by going around the other way back and into it. I suppose that could work. Thank you, Miss Necklace. Don't mention it. That's what I'm here for, to provide a little public service. Jolly good. No, then, Mr. Robber, you take the shovel this time. I'll read the map. Let's go. Suckers. I didn't tell them it was a map of Australia. Will they ever get to Pittsburgh using a map of Australia? Will they ever learn to travel forwards instead of backwards? Whatever became of Rose Maroney and her assistants? Will the kidnappers use some of the ransom money to repair all those broken windows? And where is Freddy the Ferret really hiding? Why is the Lord Colonel pronounced with an R, even though it has an L in it? Why do people applaud at the end of a movie, even though the actors aren't really there to hear their applause? Will Tom ever come back with the mustard? Will Nathaniel Clute ever successfully build a life-size replica of Taj Mahal out of Play-Doh? Will this show ever make any sense? Tune into the next episode of Speed Laps and find out. That was the 22nd episode of Speed Laps, a short podcast for short people with short attention spans written by Andrew Gilmore and featuring Andrew Gilmore, Joe McCann, and Amber Orion. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you didn't, who cares? <laughs>